this tutorial, we'll learn how to download and install a module from Drupal.org using the user interface or by using Drush. By the end of this tutorial, you'll know how to download and install the contributed admin toolbar module, which allows you to easily browse through the administration section of your website. Before you get started with this tutorial, you'll want to make sure that you know what modules are and how to find modules that you want to install. If you want to install modules via the user interface, the core update manager module must be installed. And if you plan to use Drush, you'll need to make sure that you have Drush installed. See the written version of this tutorial for links to each of these prerequisite tutorials. Note, you can use the administrative interface or Drush to install a contributed module. If you are installing a custom module rather than a contributed module, or if you see a message saying installing modules and themes requires FTP access to your server, or if for some reason the following steps don't work to download and unpack the module files, Follow the steps in the manually installing a module or theme tutorial. If you're installing a contributed module with external dependencies that are managed by Composer, follow the steps for downloading in the Using Composer tutorial. In previous versions of Drush, you could use Drush DL to download a module to your site. Drush DL has been removed as a command. Instead, use the manual installation process or Composer. See the written version of this tutorial for links to those instructions. First, we're going to look at using the administrative interface. On the admin toolbar project page on drupal.org, or that of whichever module you want to install, scroll to the download section at the bottom of the page. Here, copy the address of the tar.gz link. Then on your site, in the Manage Administrative menu, click on Extend. From the Extend page, click Install New Module. In the field, Install from a URL, paste the value that you copied from the module's project page and then click the Install button. This downloads the files to the modules directory for your site. Once that's completed, click Enable Newly Added Modules. This will take you back to the Extend page. If you use the manual upload procedure, you'll be starting with this step and reach the Extend page by using the Manage Administrative menu and navigating to Extend. Locate and check the box for the Admin Toolbar module. Then click on Install to turn on the new module. Once the process is complete, you'll see a message indicating that the module has been enabled. If you want to use Drush to install the module, first, find the project name for the module you want to install, which is the last segment of the module's project page URL. For example, if the project page URL is drupal.org slash project slash admin toolbar, admin underscore toolbar, is the project name that we need. Download the module using either the steps in manually downloading a module or theme files or using Composer to download and update files. After you have downloaded the module, you can use Drush to install or enable it with Drush EN for enable and the name of the project that you would like to enable. When prompted, answer yes if you would like to continue. Once that's complete, you should see a message that tells you that the module admin toolbar was enabled successfully. In this tutorial, we downloaded and installed the module using the administrative interface provided by the upgrade manager module and alternatively using the drush command. 